excited about what we're going to get up to today ah oh, cape town has been really really amazing guys and i cannot wait for the next adventure elma you're kicking my arm don't press my head My outfit for today, I really really love this dress which is one of the items that I bought when I was in town. I'll put the link to the video up on the screen. Um, I'll give you guys a full outfits, you know, video. So, yes guys, this is the outfit of the day today. Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. So this is our final day in Cape Town and we're heading to the giraffe sanctuary which is basically a conservation center with other animals as well and we spent the entire day with friends so it was really really nice just to catch up and spend some time with the wildlife. We just arrived at the giraffe park and no, we're about to go and pay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is what the front looks like. You do pay an entrance fee when you come in, so definitely come with cash or you can pay with your card as well. It costs 60 rand for adults to come inside. Due to the coronavirus, they've put such a large barricade which prevents the giraffes from actually interacting with people. Where are they? Wait, am I filming the wrong way? Oh, there, there, there. The last time I was here, you could actually feed the giraffes because they were really close, but I guess things have changed. Here are some pictures I took the last time I was previously here, which was some years ago. I guess things have changed, but you can still take pictures with the animals, just obviously at far range. It's so heavy. How does it feel though? It's heavy! <laughs> You guys know how often i speak about how i feel keeping animals away from the wild but if you're new to this channel you know i really don't like when i see animals away from the wild unless it's a conservation center or a center like this actually where they keep these animals for specific reasons and most of the time for rehabilitation some of the animals also are unable to rehabilitate into the wild and so they also keep them here. So you can always ask the caretakers, they will tell you the story of each animal, why they are here and why they aren't in the wild like they should be. The one animal that was actually funny for me to see here was goats because in Cameroon where I come from, goats are not something you will find let's say in a zoo or conservation center. Goats are found in pepper soup. <laughs> So that was funny to me. Now we're going to go watch the show, which starts in five minutes. So another nice thing I like about the center is that they put on a show for the audience every couple of hours or so. It's very educational. They teach you about the animals. They teach you very, very interesting things. Show you, you touch the animals and things like that. So this was really interesting. And because of the COVID-19 restrictions, they didn't actually allow people to, everyone to touch the animals, but it was still really fun. <laughs> That's exactly me. That would be my reaction. <laughs> if you're called up to be a volunteer just be prepared to remove all sorts of things from the bags that are presented to you i don't know if i have the heart to go and stand and remove a snake but yeah it was fun to watch next we made our way to the beach and this was cam's bay beach we actually hadn't been to the beach the entire time we were at cape town so this was our very first time so we arrived at Cam's Bay Beach and thank God it was still very, very sunny, but we were actually very hungry as well. So we stopped to have something to eat. You guys know I always try something I haven't tried before. Um, this was at a restaurant just opposite the beach. So we didn't want to be too far from the beach and then we went back. Elma, it's a video. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the water is so pretty. I don't know how people swim in this water. Maybe it's the time of the year, but I think Durban beaches or Durban water is a lot warmer because this water is freezing. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's your girl, Alma Acom. Welcome to sunny Cape Town. And it's absolutely beautiful today. We Let's try this again. Let us try this again. This water tried to disgrace us the first time. <laughs> I'm letting you know now, you need to treat yourself, ladies and gentlemen. 
Honestly, after coming to Cape Town, I realized how much I love being close to the ocean. If I could stay anywhere in the world, it would be so nice to stay in a town that is actually close to the ocean. The vibe, the waves, the water, the environment, the temperature, like it's the kind of environment you don't want to be away from for too long. Capri Sun Nef. I like how I was dancing around the water but not actually getting into the water because it was so so cold. But I definitely felt most free and alive. At the end of this trip, honestly, what has stood out to me the most is just appreciating God's creation. Like, guys, God's creation is beautiful. Like, there's so much to see in this world. And I just pray that one day I'll be able to travel even more. But God creates. So we spent just a little more time at the beach and rounded up our little time there to go across the road which I'm going to show you guys now where you have the Capri Sunday. You have so many different bars and restaurants that basically offer cocktails late into the night. So this street is literally overlooking the beach and you can walk from the shore up to go and check out the place and decide where you would like to spend the night. So we went to this little bar. It's called Tiger Smith. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly and we ordered some cocktails. Like the cherry on top cocktails and champagne to end off the night. Oh man, this was definitely the perfect end to one of my most amazing, amazing experiences. The nightlife in Cape Town is so, so beautiful and I'm happy I got to experience it this one day. So it's the morning after our little sunset cocktail night and it's our last day in Cape Town. Actually, I am packed. <laughs> I stopped to order a quick smoothie at Mug and Bean before taking my final bus back to Peter Mary's work. Well, thank you guys so much for following this series. See you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you've not subscribed and leave a comment if you enjoyed this series. The final hours of our Cape Town vacation. I feel like crying. Like, guys, it's been amazing. Oh my god, it has been amazing. Let's oh it. You got to do, you got to take yourself out on vacation. Yes, yes what's love? You've got to do it one time and yell out. Check out all these places if you are in Cape Town. If you know more, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in my next video.